Kitchen Science Explained, also known as My Kitchen. <laughs> Today we will be making a recipe out of one of my favorite and very scientific cookbooks, What Einstein Told His Cook. Today we will be focusing on one of my favorite chapters, Sweet Talk. Huh, bonjour, but uh, Dr. Chef Mason, what will you be making? Au revoir. Well, Jacqueline, I am glad you asked. Today we'll be making Devil's Food Cupcakes. I know, I know. Now let's see what you guys at home are going to need. One half cup unsweetened cocoa, one cup boiling water, two cups all-purpose flour, one tablespoon baking soda, one half teaspoon salt, one half cup unsalted and softened butter, one cup of sugar, two large eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now let's start the cooking process. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which my lovely assistant behind the camera has already done for me. Now you're going to want to line your cupcake tins with cupcake liners, which my assistant has also done. She's, she's just killing it back there. Can I get a round of applause for my, for my assistant? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, to start this off, we're going to be adding our unsweetened cocoa powder into our bowl. So let's just add that in now. Nice little dust cloud. And the next thing we're going to want to do is add our boiling water. So make sure you stir it while you pour it in. Now while we wait for this to cool, let's answer a question from one of our viewers. Hi y'all, I'm Dexter Springs. Question, what's the difference between sweet, semi-sweet, and unsweetened chocolate? I mean, I know it has something to do with sugar, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The answer starts with fat. When down to it, chocolate is made by grinding the beans. The friction in this grinding melts the bean into two main parts, cocoa and fat. Now, the difference between sweetness is how much fat is kept and how much is filtered out and replaced with sugar, milk, or other ingredients. Unsweetened chocolate is this pure cocoa fat mixture, which totals to about 50 to 58% fat. Semi-sweet is only about 35%, and sweet or milk chocolate is around 10 now let's keep cooking. In the same bowl we were using before, mix in the flour, baking soda, and salt. That reminds me, I got another question from one of our viewers about salt. Let's go to them now. Hi, yes, hello, this is uh, Linda Stewart from Duluth, Minnesota with Linda Lou. Quick question for you, Dr. Chef Mason. Uh, what is the difference between table salt and sea salt? Is there even a difference? How do you do there? I'm glad you asked, and that's a great question, Linda. I love Minnesota. Sea salt manufacturers try to make sea salt taste more salty by filtering out less things like algae and other natural minerals. But the FDA has put such heavy regulations on it that you wouldn't even be able to taste the difference. So the biggest difference between sea salt and shaker salt is the shape and size of the grains. Shaker salt is formed into tiny squares in order to easily fit together more salt for maximum salt content. Sea salts are usually made with irregular shapes and are much bigger granules so that when they're bitten into they explode and have a much saltier burst type of taste. However, if you are truly looking for a sea salt with a different taste, you would probably have to buy it out of the country. And these oriental salts usually cost around $16 per pound. Now back to the cooking. Now, in a medium bowl, Cream the butter and sugar with an electric mixer until light and fluffy. Now we are going to beat in our eggs one at a time until well incorporated. Now we're going to add our 
chocolate mixture to everything we just beat and stir until well blended. Now we're going to add in the flour and stir until smooth and all white patches disappear. for 15 minutes in your preheated 350 degree oven. Let's see how those turn out. Now we'll take our cupcakes out of the oven. Mmm, mm, look at those. <laughs> now let's look inside one. Ooh, look at how dark that is. That reminds me, we have our last question and it has to do with the darkness of the cupcake. Let's go to the UK. Hello, my name is Prudence Banks and I have a quick question. I've made devil's food cake multiple times and I've always wondered, how does it get so dark? It's just curiouser and curiouser. Thanks so much for the question, Prudence, and I can't believe we have viewers all the way in the UK. The dark color of devil's food is blamed by the baking soda. The cocoa in the devil's food becomes dutched by the baking soda, or more specifically, the alkaline. The dutching, or dutched cocoa, simply means being darkened and causes a slightly milder taste through a chemical reaction. Well, that's all for my show today, folks. See you on the next episode, and as always, go Team Science.